Hello you guys, so today's video is going to be slightly different from what I usually do on this channel because it's not really going to be about Scotland but more about my personal history concerning my fashion choices. If you've been following my Instagram for the past months, you probably know that I mostly dress a bit Edwardian inspired and lately during the lockdown I dress up like this every single day. The more I share about dressing like this, the more I get the question, why do I dress like an Edwardian? So I thought I'd do a video about why I prefer this way of dressing and how it is for me dressing up differently from everyone else. So I guess for me, I really prefer historical fashion over modern fashion, which is just a personal choice. So I hope no one gets offended if I say these things because if you dress like kids dress these days, it's fine, but for me it's just nothing that I like on myself. I guess growing up I've just never been a person to go outside and do things and be with the kids and do what kids do these days. I've just always preferred staying by myself at home and watching period dramas with my mom and reading books about some magical fairy kingdom. So I've grown up seeing women dress like this having floor-length skirts and like blouses and their hair fancily wrapped around their head. So it's just it's really normal for me seeing people like this. <laughs> well, as I can tell when I go out dressing like this, it's not normal for most people. My mom actually made the very first audience skirt for me when I was still in high school. And I never really wore these things. I just loved having them and putting them on in my little room and feeling like a princess. But it just wasn't something I felt comfortable wearing outside because growing up in Germany, I feel like women's fashion is very masculine. You know, many people would probably not agree with me, but I just personally feel like in Germany, many girls wear jeans and t-shirts and trainers and just male fashion, female fashion isn't very different. But then I moved to the UK and realized that lots of girls are wearing skirts here and I've always loved skirts, but I just felt like I couldn't get away with wearing them in Germany. Even though now looking back being 24, I think I should have just worn whatever I wanted to, but when you grow up, you don't want to be different, you just want to be like everyone else. So it took me quite a long time to actually get the confidence to dress more <laughs> in a way that I like. So I went from wearing kind of high-waisted trousers with, with little blouses that were also very much tight at the waist, t-shirts tucked into the trousers with my vans, which I always love to wear. Then I had a surgery on my appendix, which left a scar on my belly button. So I couldn't actually wear these trousers anymore because they hurt so bad. So from there I went to wearing skirts and I realized that they're not only like crazy comfortable but also I preferred myself this way in like a little skirt because it really focused on my waist and it just made me feel more comfortable in my own skin. But even though I feel like the way I dressed then wasn't something that anyone would point out and be like you look so different in what you wear but still people would ask me why do you wear a skirt? Why do you never wear trousers? Why do you dress up like this for work? And I'd just be like I wanted to <laughs> but it's just you always have to explain why you dress differently it was still not the way I wanted to dress it was just closer to what I liked but I still felt like I was dressing up wearing short skirts and I was still just pleasing society by looking more normal but when I moved back to Scotland I actually started dressing more historically which is mostly due to Jack because when we first started dating I didn't even realize he liked dressing up historically but then one day he just randomly mentioned it and put out his waistcoat with his little pocket watch and I was just like drooling all over him because I was like, how did I not know you dress like this? And then it just all started slowly, me dressing more historically and Jack also dressing up with me and I just felt way more comfortable going outside dressed like this if he was dressing up with me and it gave me the confidence to now just dress up by myself. I don't want to dress up so people notice me, I just want to dress the way I feel comfortable. Dressing up like this every single day just now makes me feel like I'm so at peace with myself. I feel more like I finally dress the way I am. <laughs> so from now on, I'm actually planning to dress like this most of the time. So it was a really long journey getting to feeling comfortable wearing these things. But I just felt like talking about it because it took me so much courage to start dressing like this, even though I've always wanted it, but it's just not easy to make a decision like this, to get up in the morning and be like, today is the day I'm gonna start dressing completely different from everyone else I know. So here's a bit of an overview of how many layers it takes for me to get to my Edwardian outfit.
I also often have people telling me that they like these things but they can't afford dressing like this, which I have to say you shouldn't worry about because you don't have to go to an antique store to get Edwardian clothes. I don't really own a lot of things that are antique, like my the undergarments I wear for like the, the corset cover and the petticoat, these are antiques but they're not very expensive, I got them off Etsy. But like my blouse for example is from High Street, I got it from Birchbar like 10 years ago or something. So now I dress like this and I have so many different outfits I can wear that are kind of Edwardian inspired. I mean I don't have a history degree so I don't really know if I'm doing everything right, I'm trying my best but I also don't want to be historically accurate because I just want to dress the way that makes me happy so I don't care if something is maybe not completely right. But if you're in the same struggle and you just feel like pure pressure is keeping you from dressing the way you really want to dress, don't listen to them. As long as you are happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, so at this point I want to thank my mom for always making me these clothes. You're amazing. <laughs>